Ah, isekai, man. A very popular genre nowadays. The idea of getting transported into a whole new world? <laughs> Incredible. And if any of y'all watch anime growing up, which I'm assuming you have, I know there was a time when you wished you could have been transported to your favorite anime world, bro. Like, just imagine being able to eat a devil fruit, bro. Just imagine being able to walk on water, dude. Imagine being able to capture and train magical creatures. Like, so many opportunities, bro. The only problem with this is, y'all assume that you're gonna be a hero in these anime with all the right opportunities. But what y'all gotta realize is, behind every great hero story lies a hundred dead bodies, bruh. Now, hold on, Shakespeare. <laughs> that was kinda tough, what the hell? Ah, oh, snap, I can feel it coming, bruh. Hey, y'all know how we get down this channel. Let me just get right into it. What's the word? What's the word? Let's go with, uh, let's go with shirt. Let's go with shirt. Um, I'm living lavish. You can see it in my shirt. Your bars are trash. They belong in the dirt. Hmm. Pull off and raw reason I'm leaving with a skirt. Hmm. Yeah, I'm leaving tracks in the road. I feel like Naruto. I pull up with a toad. Hmm. Big shoulders and it looking kind of broad. Yeah, I said it looking kind of broad. I'm a king, General Zod. I'm a king, looking like Grod. Uh, I said I'm looking like Grod. I go bananas on the mic like an ape. You a titan. I cut you in the nape. Hmm. Crime scene. They need some more tape. Oh. Nice, oh my gosh. All right, let me get back on top before I really drop an album on y'all boys, bro. Because y'all really be forgetting how hard these civilians have in the anime, bro. For a villain to be worthy of fighting in most of these top anime, somebody gotta die. I'm gonna just keep it real with you. And nine times out of ten, it's a whole lot of people. And in true RDC fashion, today we're gonna dive into four shonen anime where living as a civilian must be absolute hell. Let's get into it. And first on the list, we have Naruto. And I know, I know, y'all probably wonder how Cinemaker, the greatest Naruto stand there is, would even dare claim that living in this world is a bad idea. And as much as it breaks my heart, even I understand how hard these people have it, bro. Like, if you weren't born in the Leaf Village around the time when the show takes place, you might as well just grab your pillow and blanket and say goodnight, because damn near nobody is safe. Oh, you're an Uzumaki in the land of the whirlpools? Blinked. Oh, you're a civilian in the Hidden Rain Village? Boom. Hell, even the leaf ain't safe. In the first 40 episodes alone, the village was already under siege by Orochimaru, the hidden sand, and the hidden sound. Like, huh? Can my boy become a tuning first? Like, damn. Like, imagine being on your way to the tuning exams just to get flattened by those giant snakes, bruh. Stuff is insane. And that's not even mentioning what painted to the leaf, bro. Man's really waltzed in, started wreaking havoc, gave up, and just nuked that joint. Stuff be making no sense, bro. That's already two times where the village got devastated in the span of three years. Like, can a brother finish high school without getting boom? Damn! Y'all thought that was it? Here, I another one for you. Like, the leaf should really be called the hidden dirt with the way it was getting stomped on, bro. And this is supposed to be the strongest village? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna just take my chance with the cloud village, bro. At least I won't be the only black guy there, man. Jeez. Okay, okay, I know that was short, but let's just move on, bro. All this Naruto slander is making me nauseous. Let's just move on to another anime before I actually puke right now, bruh. It truly pains me to have to put this anime on the list, bruh. And I hate to see a goat get slandered, but here on this channel, we don't do bias. Like, bro, are we watching the same thing right now? Like, <laughs> is it not just so, like, it's just so, oh my, it's so beautiful. Let's get into it. Now, at least with Naruto, the villains had a goal and were at least destroying with the purpose, bruh. But in Dragon Ball, <laughs> <laughs> I swear these villains just don't care. Like, I see a lot of people complain about the Dragon Balls in the show and how they make death pointless, but y'all gotta understand. The people in this show are treated like absolute trash. Oh! The amount of people killed just on the villain intros alone is outrageous. Every single villain in this show starts off by dropping a nuke and going on a 30 kill streak. Stuff is crazy. And y'all might think I'm playing, so let's go down the list real quick, bro. Raditz spawns in and immediately booms the farm with the shotgun, bro. And I know some of y'all gonna be in them comments talking about some But Cinemaker, he shot at him first Bro, if a baby pinches you in your kneecap, are you gonna break his neck in response? I thought so, bruh Anyway, let's get back to the list, man Nap and Vegeta pull up and immediately bomb a city, bro Frieza pulls up and 
Man, we don't gotta talk about freezer. Y'all know how we get down, bro. Anyways, Cell's first appearance was literally him drinking hey, somebody hey, after hey, sipping hey. on an entire city, talking about some scrumptious. Like, bro, what? <laughs> and boo? <laughs> Come on, bro. Bro was literally snacking on people, bro. I don't even have to explain it. Bro killed the entire human race, then bombed the plant just to make sure he got everybody. And bro was looking at his dessert plate, talking about some, I'm not finished. Mans ran up on them in the afterlife just to scrape that plate real good, bro. Like, what? Not even dying will save you? Come on, bruh. And another thing that makes living in this world as a regular person so tough is the sheer scale of the power these villains have, bro. At least in Naruto, if you catch Madara or Orochimaru sleeping, you could at least, you know, get your get back for your village and spin the block for your fam, you know what I'm saying? But in Dragon Ball? <laughs> Just try and catch one of these guys sleeping, bro. No chance. Bullets? <laughs> Useless. Missiles? Baby food. The army? Come on, man. Just go home, man. Like, do you see this? Zeno, bro. I'm telling you, you gotta drop a new update and buff these damn humans, bro. They're just getting dipped way too hard, man. Damn. And don't even get me started on how these civilians look, bro. I'm black, so I know if I spawn into the Dragon Ball world, I'm gonna be out there looking like this, bro. And not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to take a hard pass on that gang. All right, all right. Let me move on from this show before Goku says to my killing in 10, bro. Wait, is that him? Wait, bro, I didn't mean it, bro. I didn't mean it. One punch, man. One punch, man. Man, look, cameo on my last bit, you know what I'm saying? But now it's time to dissect this masterpiece. Unlike the other two shows, I don't think I have to explain too much about why I wouldn't want to live here, bro. The first minute of the show is literally just a city getting bombed by some random monster. Like, people are literally just commuting to work like a normal day, then suddenly they're in the middle of a carpet bombing. Like, what? Like, sure, Saitama or another hero comes to save the day eventually, but the amount of damage that happens before they do is outrageous. Now, let's go back to that first episode real quick. Saitama is literally just going about his day and shopping for groceries when this jolly giant steps on the store, bruh. And just look at the destruction caused by one step. And you telling me you want to live here? <laughs> yeah, you're crazy. And the steroid junkie proceeds to destroy the entire city for no reason. Like, hell no, I'm not living in this, bro. Can't even come home from work without getting pressed by this? Wait, hold on. Mr. Krabs, is that you? Oh, no, nah, my dog took that new year new me to the max, bruh. Wait, <laughs> I just got some major deja vu from that. That was insane. Hey, if you know, you know, bruh. But anyways, this guy Eugene Krabs finally got caught by the IRS for all that damn tax evasion he was doing at the Krusty Krab. And now look at him, resorted to beating children. How the mighty have fallen, man. Heard the chum bucket was hiring, my brother. It's not too late to turn a new barnacle, man. Jeez. But yeah, this show is just too crazy for me. And even though it is much smaller, at least in Dragon Ball, Goku tries to bring the villains to secluded locations. But these heroes be duking it out in the middle of the city, bro. Got them boys throwing hands in town center. And for what? Because somebody drew nipples on you while you were sleeping? Yeah, grow up, bruh. I don't even know why they even bother rebuilding the city after anyways, bruh. I know that national debt is through the roof. Got that infrastructure budget down in the gutter, man. Jeez. With all that property damage, I well, thought I was watching the Avengers of Transformers. Like, yeah, you say the city, but at what cost, dude? Forget the city, man. I'm going to take my business to the sea and try my luck over there. That's right. For our last entry, we have the greatest adventure. None other than one piece. And if y'all thought these other ones were bad, <laughs> let's just get into it, man. This show was really a weird one to me. Like growing up, I always saw Naruto as a dark and sad anime, while I saw One Piece as a cheerful and lively one. But after rewatching both of them, yes, bruh, all 1,000 episodes of One Piece and 700 episodes of Naruto. This You're anime weird. lifestyle run deep, I'm trying to tell you. But anyways, after rewatching them, I realized just how bad the One Piece world is, and Hello, also Bozo. just how well Oda hides it. Like damn near every single island in the world is ruled by the world government. And if that wasn't bad enough, they're probably getting ruled by a tyrant at the same time. And let them damn pirates catch wind that your island is peaceful, bruh. Go and ransack that joint every other Tuesday. Clear out all your belongings like Phantom clearing out his plate. And that's if they're feeling nice, dude. Usually, they just usurp whatever ruler there is and just turn that island into a living hell, dude. It's crazy. And y'all must think I'm playing again, but don't trip, don't trip. I got the evidence. Let's just look at the straw hat backstory just to give y'all a scope of how bad this world is. Sanji? hated and bullied by his own fam. Nami watched her foster mom die and her island get ruled by a tyrant. Chopper 
watch his foster dad die and get ruled by a tyrant on his island. Robin watched her mom, foster grandpa, and best friend get boomed just for reading. Frankie saw his foster dad get framed and arrested and executed just for refusing to snitch. And the list just goes on and on and on. And notice how I kept on saying they watched their foster parent die, bro. Because half of their parents are either dead or MIA. Like, come on, bro. And don't even get me started on them damn celestial dragons, bro. Ooh, I hate them boys, bro. Those inbred, conniving, smooth brain, negative IQ happy mother. Like, this series is actually so dark, Hello, bro. Bozo. Half the characters we meet have the saddest backstories. It's like Oda was trying to outdo himself with these backstories. He started off a little calm, you know what I'm saying, with Luffy, Zoro, and Usopp. Nothing too crazy. You know, just a little drop of sadness in the backstory, you know what I'm saying? Then he realized his potential and just went off his rocker, bro. He just went Nami, into Chopper, into Robin, into Frankie, into Law. And I was like, damn. Can anybody have a good childhood in this show? Like, is that against the law too? And then we see them smiling every day on that damn ship like life is sweet. Like, I know when that sun goes down, every one of them straw hats be rocking back and forth in their bed just like this, bruh. Them shower thoughts must be something fierce. I can't even lie to you. But that's enough yapping out little old me, bruh. There is just too much to say about each one of these shows to fit them in one video, bruh. So if y'all really want to hear me elaborate on one of them, just drop a comment down below about which one. As for me, I'm gonna go enjoy a walk without having to worry about getting greased by a roided out man with no clothes on, bruh. I'm gonna see y'all later. And I'm back, like I never left. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video, cause like I said, and like I said in my first video, this stuff takes a long time to make. Like, oh my gosh, the amount of times where I just be hunched over on my computer, bruh, just editing, listening to my voice over and over and over and over is just crazy, so please, for me, drop a like, subscribe, comment your favorite, comment which one you want to see next, and comment if you love Cinemaker, because you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and boy, keeps a little loving. Anyways, stay tuned for the bloopers. I actually don't have that many this time, which is kind of crazy. I have like four, I think, as of recording this part. So I have like four compared to the seven I had last time, which just means I'm getting better at this, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So props to your boy for improving. I guess I'm just props to myself, but um, yeah, that's kind of awkward. Anyways, enjoy the bloopers, enjoy your day, and enjoy my content. Stay blessed. But before we get into that, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Darlington and Haji, hope I pronounced that right, for their comments on my last video. I read and respond to every single comment you guys give me, so I really appreciate whenever I see stuff like this in my comment section. It just makes me so happy and makes me want to do more content and just do better for you guys. So thank you once again for all the love and support you guys show me. Also, shout out Rocket just for being a W man in general. And yeah, I really appreciate the love and let's get back to the bloopers. And I'm back! Like I never left. And I got a cleft. Cleft lip. Uh. I got a dip. Whoa. I put that poster slip. Yeah. Like I'm playing price picks. Hold on. Yeah. Like I'm playing price picks. Uh. And I stay with the ticks. Ticks green. Ticks mean. Yeah. The ticks that I seen. Yeah. And the places that I been. Uh. Head look like a bean. Ooh. Head look like a potato. Uh. I feel like a tornado. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm actually comedy, bro. Like, can a brother finish high school without getting boomed? Damn. Oh, y'all thought that was it? Here, I got another one for you. Like, the leaf should really be called the hidden dirt the way it was getting stomped on, bro. And this is supposed to be the start. This. Oh, Frank, man. I'm not gonna lie, I just lagged. That's crazy. I just lagged in real life, bro. This is not even a blooper. That's just sad. Oh my gosh, I just lagged. I literally turned on the recording and just stared at the mic. I had my mouth open and I was talking in my mind, but nothing was. What the hell, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> it truly pains me to have to put this anime on the list, bro. And I hope to get. Oh my gosh, it's 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 literally two sentences. Like, bro, it cannot be that hard. Like, it can't. It. It. Oh, it can't be that hard. It cannot. It cannot. And I'm back, y'all. Like I never left. I guess I didn't leave to y'all. It's probably been like less than a second since I was just talking. But for me, it's been like I guess two minutes. So this is kind of awkward. Anyways, um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video because it actually takes way too long to make these. Like, oh my gosh, the amount of hours I spend just sitting on my computer editing and listening to my voice over and over and over and nandomo, nandomo, nandomo. <laughs> Why do I always break character at the last second? <laughs> one punch, man, one punch. <laughs> I don't know how it's stuck in my head, bro. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Shubari Kaniri. <laughs>